Areas with saturated sandy soils may experience an additional phenomenon known as soil liquefaction during an earthquake. This experiment demonstrates on a smaller scale what is occurring. The box contains large grain sand. Each of those grains is somewhat rounded and they are like a bunch of rough balls sitting next to each other. Between the balls, or grains, is an open space, or in the case of saturated soils, water. The water allows the grains to float a tiny bit apart. If you build on those soils, you will push the balls a little closer together, giving the illusion of a solid surface. That is why we can place the bottle, simulating a building, squarely on the sand. As you can see though, when the sander is placed beneath the soil and turned on, the vibrations allow the soil grains to come closer together as the water is pushed out, in effect liquefying the soil. Oscillations of the sander simulate the effects of the earthquake's energy waves moving through the area. The liquefied soil underneath the building destabilizes it, causing anything from slight structural damage to total destruction of the structure. It is therefore important for earthquake-prone areas to tie structures into solid rock and not float them on soils that can saturate and liquefy in an instant.